It's a common fear for most people that they do not wish to get lost, especially on their own. Hence why I refuse to take shortcuts through the wooded areas at night, even though I may know the trails. For a few, however, this terrifying thought became an all too real reality, as today we shall be looking into 5 cases of completely unexplainable disappearances. Before we begin, if anyone involved with these mysterious vanishings, whether it be for an ongoing case or a more recent event, I mean no offense and offer up my deepest condolences. On June 7th, 1992, friends Susanna Streener, 19, and Stacy McHale, 18, along with Streeter's mother, Cheryl Levitt, age 47, would all seemingly vanish after a house party in Springfield, Missouri. Both girls had just recently graduated from high school, and during the time leading to their disappearances, each had been attending graduation parties at friends' houses. Susanna and Stacy were both later seen at approximately 1 a.m. on June 7th as the two were leaving a friend's grad party in order to head back to Susanna's home, there go Cheryl's home, to spend the night. Susanna's mother Levitt was also last heard of at 11.15 the evening earlier through a phone call discussion with a friend. The following day, however, June 7th, all three would not answer the door as friends of Susanna and Stacy would come a-knocking. Panicked, Stacy's parents would inform the police about their daughter's disappearance. Countless other friends and family members would also reach out to the police, or take it upon themselves to roughly search the home for the three women. Sadly, upon arrival, the officers would deem the scene corrupted due to several dozen individuals roaming around, this leading a few to think that evidence may have been lost in the process. In fact, the only sign of struggle was a broken light on the porch. Lo and behold, however, this was cleaned up by a family member, corrupting the scene even further. The strangest part in this case, however, was the fact that the women's clothing, purses, jewelry, and car keys were still at the location. Even the house's pet dog was still in attendance. One of the beds in the home was also shown to have evidence of being slept in the night prior. So, what happened to these women? Well, out of the thousands of tips sent in by individuals throughout the years, the most suspicious comes from a man named Robert Craig Cox, a convicted kidnapper and robber and a suspect in a Florida murder. Cox claimed he knew what happened to the women and that they were all murdered and that their bodies would never be found. Investigators could not completely clarify the claims Cox was providing, but the man did say that upon his own mother's death, he would release what had happened to the three women. As of right now, all three have been declared dead as of 1997, and their case still is officially filed under missing. This story in particular is rather hard to explain, especially due to the sheer amount of variations people have made up over the years, turning some to believe this to simply be a silly story people tell along the lines of that of an urban legend. Nonetheless, in 1977, Jackson Wright and his wife Martha were passing through the Lincoln Tunnel on their trip from New Jersey into New York. Jackson stated that while inside the tunnel, he pulled the car over as condensation on the front and rear windows were getting too blurry to safely continue driving. Jackson would proceed to wipe down the front windshield while his wife would go to the back in order to handle the rear mirror. When Wright turned around, however, he would find his wife to have mysteriously disappeared. Jackson's claim that he never heard or saw anything unusual that took place moments before Martha's disappearance, thus leading police investigators to not be able to find any piece of evidence linking to the strange disappearance of Miss Jackson. The lack of evidence and near instant disappearance of the woman has all also led to many conspiracy theories to conjure up some wild ideas. Theories stemming from involvements from time-traveling individuals to alien abduction, all the way to the more reasonable explanations such as the wife purposefully running away and hiding, or in my opinion, the strangest theory of them all, that Martha was completely made up in Jackson's head, a complete imaginary wife. A little spooky to think about, what do you guys think could have possibly happened to Martha in that little amount of time in one of the most congested locations for vehicles in the country? On September 16, 1890, Louis Le Prince would disappear never to be heard from or seen again. 
Many may not exactly know who this man may be, but Louis Le Prince was actually considered to be one of the first men to successfully capture a moving image. A lot of people are going to argue that Thomas Edison was actually the one who invented this, well you'd be partially correct, as Edison did have one of the first experimental movies in 1889. However, on October 14, 1888, Lewis had successfully captured a small clip lasting 2.11 seconds with family members and others walking around a garden. Rather odd, isn't it? That one man creates something a year before the other, only to go missing a year prior to the second man's success. Well, in fact, this is actually one such theory as to why Louis Le Prince disappeared. As Prince was on his way back to visit friends in Paris, being last seen on his departure from England. However, he would not reach his destination, even after an extensive search, neither a body nor luggage would be discovered, leaving investigators to declare Prince dead come 1897. Now, once more, there are many theories as to why this man disappeared, with one being a successful assassination attempt due to the success of his work. Some theorize that Edison may in fact have played a hand in the assassination himself, as Prince at the time was preparing to patent his own projector design, however no evidence has linked Edison to this at all. Other theories range from a planned suicide attempt all the way up to his own brother ending his life. Though at the moment, it remains unclear and no one knows for sure what had happened to the cinematic inventor. At first glance, many would probably assume this to be once more a case of an individual mysteriously being kidnapped or found missing after a night out with friends, but this case is anything but normal, starting with the identity of Mary Celeste, the ship. On December 4th, 1872, the vessel would be discovered by a passing ship and her crew. The Mary Celeste was supposed to be on course for Genoa, Italy, but would be discovered at around three-fourths of its destinated route. The crew members of the ship that located the Celeste would find many things astray in and around the now abandoned naval craft. For starters, both the captain and the crew of the Mary Celeste were nowhere to be seen. It should also be noted that the only lifeboat was also missing. However, no evidence or sightings of this arose either. All the crew members' belongings remained in their living quarters, however much of the ship's papers and navigational equipment were missing. Those investigating would also discover that there is an ample amount of food remaining on board, with no signs of any of them being prepared. No signs of fire or struggle leading to the idea that this was actually a calm and orderly departure from the vessel. It should also be noted that the last navigational log was dated November 25th of that year. But despite this, the initial investigation and salvage of the ship later on, no one really knows what happened aboard moments before the crew would leave. Much speculation has arisen from it all, some saying that it may have been in fact foul play in the end, while others support the idea of some sort of natural disaster or phenomena forcing the men to flee the ship. Now ending this list is a case that is probably a lot more well known than a few. I can speak for myself in saying that this was actually the only one I knew beforehand while researching. I remember my dad telling me his memories of this story as he worked at an airport for a good 30 some years. Regardless of that, this case remains intriguing to me along with what I assume are countless other individuals. D.B. Cooper is the name given by the media to an unidentified man who on November 24th, 1971, hijacked a Boeing 727 on course for Seattle, Washington. This man would purchase a plane ticket under the alias Dan Cooper, leading to the media misconception of naming him D.B. Cooper. This man would later take over the aircraft demanding a ransom, a total of $200,000, which in today's standards would transfer roughly to about $1.17 million. Upon receiving the money, the unknown man would then parachute out of the plane in order to make his escape. However, I believe a very little amount of people knew that this would turn into one of the greatest cases of the perfect crime. 
despite there being an extensive manhunt and FBI investigation stretching through several decades of looking into all possible leads and hints, the unidentified man has yet to be surfaced. Many claim that there is no possible way that he could have survived the daring leap, but just as many people believe that there is also a possibility that he in fact did, safely getting away with his life and the money. Another reason for me placing this on the list is due to the recent activity by the FBI. As of July of this this year, the Bureau has officially suspended active investigation into the case, continuing to take submissions of evidence, however this still remains a step in the direction of closing this case altogether, a strange and mysterious investigation that may never be resolved. Thank you for staying till the end of the list, I hope you enjoyed and possibly learned something new. However, I'd like to see which one of the numbers on this list was the strangest in your opinion, or if there were any cases you believed I had left out. Leave all that in the comments below, and I hope to see you all soon. Thank you for staying with us to the end. If you enjoyed this journey, hit the like button down below and leave a comment in the comment section. I always consider suggestions for new videos and topics, so do not be shy. Also, do not forget to subscribe in order to stay up to date on all things unexplained. Until then, I hope to see you again next time as we take another trip into the realm of the unknown.